Hello guys and girls, uh, Ethan Cade here, EC, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about Driver, and whether or not we can see Atari re reclaim the Driver franchise, and bring it home, back into the Atari fold, and what Atari could do with the franchise if they reacquired it. For those who don't know, Atari used to actually own the Driver franchise, Driver was a game series, which was very similar to GTA, uh, and it actually helped, helped inspire GTA to become what it is today. So why why would Atari want to acquire reacquire this if they already owned it? Well, they sold it sold it to Ubisoft due to a bit of a scandal with, with the third game. You know, uh, it being rushed and whatnot. Bit of a scandal. Yeah, there's too much to go into with that. I I I ain't got time to you know give give you a feature length documentary on the driver scandal. But why would Atari want it back? Well, Driver was a successful franchise for the longest time. And I also got to admit, I do think Ubisoft might be interested in selling this franchise. Ubisoft, for those who don't know, has had very, quite a few, has, well, they've had quite a lot of financial issues recently. Due to games underperforming and them being like, so focused on a few franchises. And the few franchises that they're focusing on aren't even that interesting or aren't even that fun anymore, in my opinion. But would Ubisoft be willing to sell Driver? Well, it depends on the price. I think, think like that's that's the whole point you got to remember is the price of what they would want for this franchise, because after obviously acquiring Driver, they did make three games in the franchise. Those being Driver Seventy Six, Driver Parallel Lines, and Driver San Francisco. However, I don't think Ubisoft would be able to really sell it for quite a lot, and it also depends for how much Atari would be able to pay for the franchise, because obviously. If if uh, Ubisoft went out, well, we want $10 million for Driver. I don't think Atari would, would pay for that. However, if Atari, if, if Ubisoft was like, okay, well, you can have it for like $5 million. I think there is a slight possibility that Atari would try to do a deal like that. Because you can obviously re do remasters and remakes and re-releases. And obviously you can make new games in the franchise. And there aren't enough open world games that are actually fun and actually interesting. Uh, GTA sort of owns the whole mar owns the whole market there, but also got to remember that in order to get this game, you'd obviously have to go compete against Rockstar, and Rockstar Games is no slouch. They they are like the kings of open world games, so it'd be very hard for them to do that. Plus, with the past with the whole scandal, I'm not sure Atari would be interested in actually trying to reacquire this franchise. But if I was Wade Rosen, I would try to you know bring back as many of, of Atari's assets as I, as I could back into the fold. As well as expanding on by acquiring new assets. But yeah, I do feel like it would be nice for Atari to bring to get driver from Ubisoft and bring it back to modern consoles and and obviously the VCS and all this sort of good stuff. Whether or not they'll do it though, we have to wait and see. So, but yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Are you hyped about this? Would you like to see Atari bring back driver? Would you like to see Atari acquire driver from Ubisoft and bring it back? Like, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. New, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment to notifications. If you're following me on either YouTube or Rumble, please follow, share, all that sort of stuff, guys. Please. I've been Ethan, the uh, Ethercade, and I'm signing out. Peace.